Hi everybody, it's Fibo Group, and you're watching to the Market Watch Review. Risk appetites are back today. Chinese shares rose sharply after unsourced claims that Beijing formed a committee to evaluate how to end the zero COVID policy. The Hang Seng soared 5.2%, while all major markets advanced in the region. Stock 600 Europe recovered yesterday and is now up 1.1%. This is the sixth gain in seven sessions. The US futures are generally higher. The dollar is generally lower. G10 currencies are up by at least 0.5%. Gold is returning to dollar 1650 from 1633 thanks to lower rates and a more flexible dollar. After falling almost 3% in the previous two sessions, December WTI is now up 1.25%. Asian Pacific Market The Reserve Bank of Australia gave its second consecutive quarter point increase as widely expected. The new cash rate target for the Reserve Bank of Australia is 2.85%. The central bank sees inflation reaching 8% and expects further increases. The Australian dollar is slowly recovering from yesterday's four-day low of $0.6370. There were no manufacturing PMI reported. Japan's PMI was unchanged from the 50.7 flash reading. This was the seventh consecutive fall since March 54.1, when the year's peak occurred. It was still little different from September's 50.8. After a close to 149 yesterday, the dollar has returned to yesterday's low at JPY 147.50 due to speculation that the Fed will slow down its rate of increases. Market of Europe Tomorrow's manufacturing PMI will be released as many European centers are closed for holidays. Although the final reading for the UK was slightly higher than the flash estimate at 46.2, it is still the lowest since May 2020. As it works to reduce its balance sheet, the Bank of England auctions £750 million of short-term maturities. The Bank of England sells the bonds at a cheaper price than when they were bought. Today's euro trades with a stronger bias, but is still within yesterday's range. Yesterday's sterling fell to $1.1460, a three-day low. Sterling recovered to $1.1550 after early Asia-Pacific turnover. Market of America the U.S. economic calendar may be full, but there might not be much to learn. As the labor market slows, so is the manufacturing sector. Construction spending is likely to have fallen for the third month in September. The FOMC meeting results on Wednesday are the immediate focus. It is almost universally expected that the Fed will announce the fourth consecutive 7-5 BP increase. The U.S. dollar traded at almost CAD 1.3540 and was close to its pre-weekend lowest of 1.3525. The European morning saw the downtrend slow. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.